We're in Madrid at Fuse 2023, and I'm here chatting with Lambis Litsikas. He's the Senior Client Executive and Head of Sales for Europe at Fujitsu Network Communications. Lambis, great to talk to you. Thanks very much for joining us Thanks today on me. Telecom TV. So we're here at Fuse. What is Fujitsu highlighting and showing off here at the event? Before I jump into your question, um, I would like to say that Fujitsu stands for um, high quality and reliable product and continuous innovation. So within the frame of these three principles, we have brought our latest innovation infused this year. Uh, technology that helps our customers to accelerate their digital transformation and at the same time deliver energy efficiencies and really some technology innovation that will make the difference. Uh, so we have technology across all of our portfolio, optical networking, radio access, and uh, software automation. If I start on the optical domain, uh, we are very pleased to introduce our uh, brand new ultra optical system uh, coming with liquid cooling technology, the very first in the market, commercially available. Um, we also have on the radio side, obviously we have our open run compliant radios, uh, multi-band, massive MIMO, uh, we have our uh, virtualized CUDU, uh, also we have our flexible x hall transport solution which is ideal for uh, small cell, indoor venues and mission critical deployments. Uh, and finally, we have our uh, software and automation that manages the whole open run portfolio and solution. So that's, that's a pretty uh, broad uh, portfolio from transport all the way to the, to the radio access. Now you mentioned uh, liquid cooling and of course, uh, you know, running green networks is something that all the operators want to do. Uh, can you talk about um, that and the other features in your ultra optical system that will help the operators to become more energy efficient? Absolutely. Uh, it's always nice for technology people to bring something innovative into the market. So I'm very pleased to say that I'm in that kind of situation. So we have um, the very first in the world uh, commercially available liquid cooled transponder uh, that can support 1.2 terabits of wavelengths. At the same time, due to liquid cooling technology, it delivers up to 60%, I repeat, 60% less CO2 emissions. This is obviously due to the innovative closed loop liquid cooling technology that delivers double the cooling capacity compared to conventional transponders without really compromising on uh, reliability, performance, and also the operation and maintenance activities are exactly the same as any other conventional transponder. Uh, on top of that, um, our line system comes with uh, C plus L uh, RODEM architecture. So we manage uh, terabit wavelengths across the CNL uh, bands through a single WSS uh, solution, which obviously delivers a lot of uh, power consumption improvements uh, and obviously CO2 emissions reduce significantly. Okay, well, I mean, these are really important factors for, for network operators these days, so that's a, a, a really um, you know, critical innovation uh, there. Now, you also mentioned earlier on uh, Open RAN, and that's a big talking point uh, here at the, at the FUSE event uh, as well. So what, what are the latest developments in terms of Open RAN at Fujitsu? We are very much committed to open run. Uh, so recently we have announced that we, we began uh, delivery of our uh, virtualized uh, base station uh, on behalf of entity Docomo in Japan. Uh, it will be used in their commercial 5G network. Um, really is, is a very high performance uh, virtualized CUDU which has to deliver this kind of performance in a very challenging environment like densely populated city of Tokyo. Um, on top of that, uh, all of our products now are designed with 
energy efficiency in mind. So uh, our virtualized CUDU comes with you know, numerous features that support energy efficiency, but I want to highlight two critical ones, which we believe we differentiate ourselves from, from the competition. Uh, one is the um, uh, cell resource sharing feature, uh, which enables our customers to uh, connect up to twice the number of cells to a single virtualized DU. Uh, I wouldn't like to forget, though, our radio units. Uh, this is an area where Fujitsu comes with 30 years plus experience in producing, manufacturing and designing uh, high quality radios. So all of our uh, radio units support obviously uh, open run, single band, dual band, triple band. They come with uh, external or integrated antennas, um, including the 32 TRX Massive MIMO, which we have in our booth. Uh, and all of them have been designed to deliver up to 25% uh, reduction in power consumption. Um, how do we do that? This is, this is based on uh, some patented technology we have and advanced linearization techniques on the power amplifier, which is a component of the radio that consumes a lot of energy. So a lot of key areas there and, and obviously the real focus at the company on uh, green networks and, and energy efficiency. Added to this, of course, all of these components and elements need to be managed. Um, so the, the SMO for management and uh, orchestration and the RAN intelligent controller, the RIC, these are important parts in the, in the open RAN architecture as well. How important are they? Is that part of Fujitsu's portfolio as well? Absolutely, you're, you're absolutely right. This is, uh, Smo and RIC is integral part of our open RAN portfolio, uh, considering the, the sophistication and precision of uh, 5G networks uh, present additional challenges to our customers. They have to deal with multi-run and vendor-specific management platforms. So we address all these challenges through our uh, Virtuora uh, service management and orchestration offering, and in particular our radio controller um, delivers a, a, a single operation and management dashboard and a common run plane uh, solution for managing, configuring and maintaining uh, the network. I want also to add the fact that um, combining the uh, radio controller with our analytics transformation AI ML capability uh, enables monitoring and predictive maintenance through RAPS and XAPS, as well as obviously uh, energy efficiency. Uh, we know that energy efficiency is kind of top priority of our customers. So we see a lot of uh, RAPS emerging in, in, in the industry. Uh, in Fujitsu also, in our case, we have, we have energy efficiency apps which uh, we can switch off the transmitting power mm. when the traffic conditions allow us to do so. Uh, and that's done based on artificial intelligence and machine learning where the solution will learn the changes in traffic requirements and traffic patterns and then the power will be adjusted accordingly uh, without though impacting the end user uh, experience. Uh, that's a very important element. Well, I mean, these are really important areas of, of innovation and, you know, one of the things that the open RAN uh, sector and ecosystem have talked about for a long time, uh, enabling new features to be able to brought on board uh, for the mobile operators. Absolutely. So really interesting to hear what Fujitsu is doing uh, uh, across all of the areas of the network. So, Lambeth, thank you very much for joining us today and, and bringing us up to date with, uh, with Fujitsu's work. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.